Hello there and welcome back to Cory Loses, where today we are once again continuing our Thrawn to Revenge Imperial Civil War 2.3.6 or pre 2.3.6 playthrough as the Galactic Empire. Uh, we are in the middle of taking control of some of the northern planets. Uh, we've kind of got the area mostly secured, uh, especially because of the New Republic, the CSA, and the Greater Maldrude all control different planets here. So we're we're kind of close to having like everything above this kind of band from the mid rim up, and uh, yeah, so we're also dealing with some Greater Maldrude stuff in the core, where they've been kind of kind of dicks to be honest. Uh, but this is actually the first episode of any Empire War playthrough that I've been recording uh, offline for a while. So normally I do these recordings live on Twitch. Later today I might actually do one, but. Uh, with a lot of the work I was doing for Datapad over the last week, I haven't had a chance to uh, stream them doing later streams with uh, like Slev, Scarecrow, Eck, and Charlie. Uh, I haven't had a chance to do the recording streams like I usually do, so I might be doing that later today. We will see. Uh, but Greater Maldrude is at 13%. Uh, I feel like they were higher last time, so I, I think we did a good amount of damage to them. But where is our our army? I think we... Yeah. We should be able to clear out a lot of the Greater Maldrude's forces right now. Uh, even if we just kind of do roving fleet style and then leave them. Uh, I mean, ideally... We'd want to, uh, take the planets as well. But they could still serve a decent role as a block against the New Republic. I guess what I'll ask you guys for the comments is, uh, once you've seen this episode, whether this is something you'd like me to do more, uh, just like the solo recordings for some of the episodes are like maybe a mix is better maybe like one series that's always streamed one that's always recorded it's it's a fairly decent adjustment I assume just think about like how I end up interacting one style versus the other so Let's see what you guys think my lack of a Pathfinder in this fleet is very sad. Attack formation uh, yeah. We're late era, so ads is just... Alright. Just a couple transports now. The best place to fight ground units. No risk of any damage. Excellent shot. Commencing attack run. And there we go. But yeah, so this is actually we're coming into the week that has the anniversary of the mod. Uh, we are going into our fourteenth anniversary. So, the mod started in 2006. I'm going to be trying to figure out a, a couple things to do for for the anniversary, probably over the course of the week. Uh, so, there will probably be a few videos coming out, and then I would really like to do a, uh, like a team stream, which we've done before for anniversaries and for releases and stuff, and they're always a lot of fun. Uh, there's a lot of team members now, so uh, it, it can get kind of cre- oh shit. It can get kind of crazy, but still fun. Oh god. These are all ion cannons now, pretty much. I don't think I can beat this. Yep, we're going to have to just give them their planet back, which is probably fine. 
Because we have the other two large fleets going on. All right. Uh, and I think we're going to send this fleet over there as well. So we're going to get Shosu as our thing. And I have been working on the community challenge. Oh, shit. I forgot to put the validators. I have been working on the community challenge uh, units and spreadsheets and stuff. I've got the spreadsheets recorded for all the space units. Uh, it took <laughs> it's taking a lot of time. Uh, I'm going to be doing the ground. Oh, shit. This is just very... Very unfortunate. But actually, can we... No, no, no. Not with this fleet. Uh, yeah, we're just going to have to... Near... Far... Okay. But yeah, so the community challenge I was hoping to start this Sunday. But it is... It's very unlikely that that's going to happen. I still have... Uh, probably... Six to ten hours of work to put into it before I can. Uh, so I'll see how quickly I'm able to get the time to do that. Um, yeah, I don't like I don't like that you're doing this to me, Greater Maldrude. Maybe if I take Scarl, kind of block them off there, because right now they've got their territory all connected. That's not. That's not great for us. Um, right, we have Garros. So let's do that. They have two structures and a lot of kind of weak stuff. At least nothing heavy. A lot of light stuff. This should be fun. Choose your reinforcements. Destination set. Moving to coordinates. Reinforcements on, on my way. Get ATSTs for their AOE against these kind of speeders. Alright. You're going to be supported by our artillery. Okay, HV gun and HV gun. Okay, so it's just the... Uh, that kind of thing. Get out of there. Okay. Just get the HV gun here. You can just so you're not getting harassed by the by the skiffs. We've also had a lot of art getting finished. I haven't finished the executor yet, uh, but I'm going to be working more and more on that. I'm basically all my mod work in the next little while is going to be getting the executor done and ready. Uh, let's see if we can hit anything there. Not really, uh, but yeah. So I'm going to be working on finishing the executor as my next kind of thing. Uh, but we've also got like new models for the Providence, new models for the Providence Dreadnought. Uh, a lot of other new models that haven't been textured yet. Uh, but the Providences are ready. They're going to be in the next release of uh, anything where they're included. So, they look really nice. Okay, can I get most of them? Epic. Surprised they haven't tried to retreat yet. Oh, there's an AA gun there. Need to be careful about that. Here we go.
Uh, Garrus and Scar. Okay, they didn't actually have anything over Scarl. Building under construction. So they'd have to take Shardan, uh, if they want to get anywhere. What are we looking at with statistics? It is... they're still at 13. Well, how did the New Republic go down to 38? Was I looking at something else earlier? Independent Force is still at 11, Hapes at 2 still. Uh, but another thing that's going to be happening over the next little while, uh, my job code-wise is going to be uh, working on redoing some of the galactic level scripting. So the air scripting is all getting redone. I've made a new flowchart. It's pretty epic. Uh, that kind of shows... Oh, really? We lost ships for that? That's very sad. Uh, but yeah, so reworking a lot of the galactic level scripting. Let's get a rester. Uh, actually, do we have any capitals? Chained Heart can come back. Then Queen Avadol's Revenge can return. Hyena's Nest. Chasseur. E back, you can get. I get half a squad soon. I'm actually going to get Chasseur here as well. And Old School New School. And Arrowhead. But yeah, so uh, I made a new flowchart to kind of go over how the eras are going to work for every faction. Because uh, there are some differences, and there's going to be some new ways to progress through certain eras. Like, it'll be possible to bypass certain eras, uh, depending on certain actions you play take as the player or the umpire player takes uh, as well. So... There will probably be a news post directly about that soon, but it's going to involve redoing a lot of the basic galactic scripting, uh, which will mean fixing some of the bugs, like having uh, certain things like the the error progression events not resolve properly in the mission holocron. Uh, this gets reported a lot of as, as a bug, but it doesn't actually impact the actual progression of the errors. It's just a weird thing where it it doesn't mark the mission as complete. I don't think we're going to know pain from this, actually, Palpatine. You're kind of dead, to be honest. I am ready. We will probably need to replace the Eclipse's VO with uh, just a regular unit, or not a regular unit VO, but like a dedicated Eclipse VO, because it is separated from Palpatine now. So, clearly Palpatine is dead, but... There we go. Because, uh, yeah, we can go through here now. And I might actually go up here first. Grand Maldrude has conquered Sullust. Interesting. If true. Probably true. I'm not going to lie. It is probably, in fact, accurate. Beginning construction. Enemy fleet approaching. About to invade Kuat. Don't like that, New Republic. We have HV guns here. We do have HV guns here. Uh, if we can get a fleet back there... Ah! Oh, is Greater Maldrood? Oh, I guess they're coming from that direction. This isn't horrible. If we can HV gun a decent target a couple times. Enemy unit sighted. And kill them before their ground force gets here. Like, we don't need to win this battle. Obviously, we can't win this battle. But we can win the next battle with them. And just here, let's uh, let's leave stuff up here, keep them away from the shipyard as long as possible. The new shipyard model, uh, all three shipyard models are done. The light frigate shipyard skin is done, but because it looks so much better, and it is a fair bit larger than the old frigate shipyards, it's possible we might just temporarily use it for all three until 
Uh, the rest are done. Reinforcements on route. Reinforcements on route. Got you on the com. Reporting in. Heading to destination. We might actually be able to do this with uh, these garrisons. You have no engines. I'm gonna see if I can kill just like just the engines off of these guys, slow them down, and then we're only dealing with a bit less. It might be a bit too much to ask to hit the Allegiance's engines, but I think I'm going to stick with hitting the VSD or Precursor again next. Or, er, not again. Because I think we can deal with all these little guys uh, with our fleet. And if we can just kind of whittle down at some of these larger ships... Uh, Target locked. Copy. We're going to have a shot to actually destroy everything. Alright, heavy bombers. We've gotten pretty lucky with the, with the engine so far. I can't rely on that remaining the case. Okay, next up we're going to have to go for the Allegiance, I think. And we do get one more ISD. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I think it's two, not three. So if we can keep up the fight like further towards here... All right, I'm going to pull this Lancer back because it's going to start being in range. All right, Dreadnoughts. Let's see how much damage we actually do to it. How many full... Yeah. Didn't hit the engines on that one. Not shocking. The downside to trying it this way is that we could very easily end up just not killing any of these ships. Or, now, not any of them, but... Uh, we could kill much less than we otherwise might have been able to. But like we're on our first round with these guys uh, of our garrison forces. That's who these guys are. So it's not. It's, we're not. It's not going to be the end of the world. We're probably okay. Yeah, especially since it's only going to be like two or three more. Uh, HV gunshots to kill the Allegiance, even. If we started building golems in some places, that could probably help. Those are another thing where they, their art has been redone. That might even... Be, I might even start doing... So this is another thing I want you guys' opinion on. If there were certain things that... Uh, certain individual updates like that that I started doing some videos on, would that be a thing that people were interested in uh, I, I thought about doing like that kind of thing some kind of topical videos rather than just straight playthroughs uh, but without reducing the actual playthroughs obviously because I, I also need to figure out what our next playthrough that we're gonna start is gonna be Zinj is the next Imperial Civil War playthrough but I was thinking about doing another Fall of the Republic one uh, even with the uh, community challenge coming up. 
Because that is going to be strictly once a week streamed. So it's not quite fitting in the same... Uh, same slot, I guess, as the... Some of the other stuff. As these regular playthroughs. Alright. HV guns, massively OP. Less OP against the player because you can't do the same kind of delaying tactic. They usually jump in much closer. We've lost an acclimator. That's basically what we've what we're down in this battle now. All right, uh, stop him there. I think we need one more after this. Yeah, just one more. But I think we're at the point where we can potentially kill their stuff outright. I am going to use the HV gunshot on the Allegiance just because I don't want to deal with the shields for the one hard point. Okay. The lasers are our target. Our target priority is the laser I'm surprised this actually worked. I think that hypervelocity gun hit both. Oh, none of that. None of that. Sucks to suck. Should have sent the belter. Rip Fag and Bray, but you you did a good job. You were part of something real and big. Uh, let's get Augustus building and Reaper. And we've got that other fleet coming into our territory. Let's just get this upgraded where we can uh, okay so we're, we're gonna have the ground units coming in I'm probably gonna auto resolve against Eddie and Safalor that is not exactly what I wanted hopefully you're less defended okay So speaking, that's fine, I guess. So we can just go back over here. Jindeen is getting attacked as well. Uh, yeah, that's... Let's try to go up from Talatia. And... I want to go... Oh my god. Um, that was the one that I asked for. We should be able to do this. We have enough support. Look, sir, it's them. That's bright. This is also the first time I'm ever playing Empire War in 4K. Which is pretty epic. I'm not recording it in 4K. Uh, maybe that'll be, that'll be a stream worth doing, but I got a 4K monitor. It's just, I don't know that there's enough people who would want to watch this in 4K. Um, yeah, let's get the Majestic. I basically got the monitor 
so that I could have like Empire at War or whatever in 2K on the on the same monitor as like Twitch chat and stuff, because uh, otherwise I have to look around a lot and it's less accessible. But oh, I want to kill the the engines. We might actually be able to. Uh, but yeah, so the nope, we're not. So I, I didn't really get an expensive one. I got the cheapest 4K monitor I could. Because it is more, like, I needed it more for the actual resolution itself rather than uh, improving my own experience. It's more for you guys. Uh, even if it's not directly the 4K that you guys are seeing. Okay. We're going for Hast. We are going to also build up more ground stuff. Uh, we're, we're putting Saflor back as the production planet along with Ession or Eddie that it was supposed to be. But I suppose getting Karita to continue producing. You can continue producing infantry. Yeah, full stack from you would be fine. We're actually pretty far along into getting a another ground army here, so. That's good. Let's get you and we can upgrade the shipyard. Uh get Vagan Bray back at here. Ooh, if we go from Jindin to Bothawai, that cuts off everything. I don't want to give up any of the planets that we have connected right now, uh, but we do have our two best fleets up here. Or two of our best fleets, not exclusively. This fleet is better. But then we're kind of asking for, for trouble. Let's see, we're down to 30. They're up to 45 again. Maldrude's at 12 still. Okay. Construction complete. Oh, I think it's because they were in transit somewhere. Alright. Well, you're getting HV gunned. Wait for you to start moving. Oh shit. I wasn't expecting the turn. Yes, sir. Bomber active. Squadron moving out. Hypervelocity guns available. The enemy has been defeated. Could feel the impact on that one. Uh, we're gonna get Soft Speaking back. We're gonna get into Hast. So let's get those two things play out. Kalis is getting attacked as well. Like, I really need to just tell these guys to F off. Alright, Antagonizer, you should have this. Fear of Victoria, SD2, Wells Dragon, Mighty Nerf Herders, Modular Task Force Cruiser, Endurance. Control. 
I'm on them. Targeting. Oh, uh, you need to leave. Because I don't think we're going to do this fast enough that the raid fleet doesn't spawn. Star Destroyer standing by. Stay in formation. We right are victorious. Never mind, we got it. Move you in. Move you back. Looks like that might have just been a raid. Uh, okay. And we've got Hast. We've come across enemy units. Choose your reinforcements. Let's move out. Dominion, Maticus, Spaceball 2. And regular allegiance. There we go. Alright. There's been a bit of back in the fourth in the core. Uh, but... I think, uh, for some reason, I always think Hast is space only. But I think we've actually put ourselves in a much better position so far today. Uh, we took Skarl, we have space over Hast, we took back some of these back-end planets so that uh, Dominion can be active again. We're getting our army built back up. Because uh, right now, it is a little sad. It's just our heroes, some TIE crawlers, and some army troopers. But, uh, but yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed today's episode. Again, there may be a stream later tonight on Twitch where I'm going to be recording more of this playthrough. Uh, and we're going to be starting some more playthroughs soon. So thanks again for watching, everyone. Hope you are enjoying the series. And hope to see you next time. Bye.